Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how I prepare some al pastor sliders. These delicious little brioche buns are not only amazing, but once you add al pastor with your avocado sauce, okay, and you add all the rest of the ingredients that your regular al pastor taco will have, really sets these sliders apart for any festivity, potluck, you know how easy they are to make. So now that I've said that and I have enticed you with the flavors, let me show you how I prepare them. Before I begin to discuss the ingredients that we're gonna be using here, make sure that you guys are aware. If you're on a desktop, laptop, or your cell phones, you can click that little arrow right next to the title, press it, and it's gonna show you the description area, and right there, you're gonna find the recipe with the ingredients, right? So what I wanna say to you guys, the al pastor uh, pork that we're using today has been uh, in my freezer for about a month, so I thawed it out, and I chopped it up, and that's what I wanna share with you guys. You can make a big portion freeze it into little portions and then you, you know, just defrost. It's super easy. I mean, that's how I get through my days. <laughs> so now that I've said that, um, I'll put the link in the description area for the recipe for the marinade and how to, um, if you want to make tacos or if you just want to learn how to grill your al pastor meat. And also I'll put it at the end of the video um, when all these things pop up so that that way you guys can just click on it in case you guys are on your, uh, on your TVs watching. So the more you guys let me know where you're watching, the more I can give you. So now that I said that, let's go over our ingredients. So what we have here is some al pastor, and what I did, I chopped it up into fine little tiny pieces because if you have uh, children at home, you don't want them to bite into a big piece and they can barely get through it with their little tiny precious teeth. Or if you have some elderly people in your family, you know, chop it up nice. So that's what we have going on here, friends. We're gonna be cooking our al pastor with a little bit of chopped onions, cause you know that that brings out that delicious uh, pork flavor and balances out to those taco-esque <laughs> deliciousness that we're looking for. So you're gonna need a little bit of chopped onions. And again, I give you guys a recommended uh, portion, but you guys can make it comfortable for your home. Look at those buns. Ooh, you know, there's something about brioche buns that really does make it better. And then if your wonderful hands are touching, it's gonna to be better. So pick your slider buns and slice them through the middle, just like this. It's such fragile bread. Look at that. Ooh, smells delicious. And the sweetness that the brioche gives you really balances out these sliders. You guys said you guys want me to bring more of my fun side. Here you go. <laughs> so you're going to need some sliders. Okay. I'll be topping our al pastor sliders with a finely chopped cabbage. I taught you guys how to do this for the tostilocos, but it almost has to feel like rice gentle. You see how tiny that is? That's how you want to uh, chop it up really fine. We have, you can use a white or yellow onion, the amount of cilantro that you desire, and some chopped pineapple, just like that. You're gonna say, Steph, where's the cheese? My choice of cheese for these sliders is cotija, but it's gonna be up to you guys on whatever you wanna use. You don't even have to use it, so. But I'm gonna be using cotija for a little sprinkling, a little flavor. Here's our cotija cheese and our pickled onions. Optional, it's gonna be the Views Mexican Chili Oil. Yes, yes, yes. This is all we have left from that jar I showed you how to make. <laughs> <laughs> That's liquid gold. Yeah, yeah. It's, it goes by really, really quick, especially on the noodles. I just dip them in there like it's coffee and donuts. <laughs> <laughs> For my avocado crema today, my avocado sauce, I'm gonna be using one avocado and some crema estilo Oaxaca. This cream is amazing if you haven't had it. And if you can't get a hold of this cream, I'll make sure to leave you uh, other options that you can blend this together with uh, so that you can achieve the flavors necessary for these al pastor sliders. And let's not forget some salt. Last but not least, a little bit of oil for cooking. And now that you know what ingredients we're gonna be using, Let's get this party started with some sliders. Okay, friends, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit of cooking spray on my sliders before I toast them up just a little bit. Just a touch of love. You guys remember the grandfather pan? Well, we have that pan on a medium heat. You should do the same. <laughs> so go ahead and drizzle a good amount of oil. 
Okay, so once I place this meat in the pan, it's gonna get pretty loud. I'm not gonna be shouting, but we're just gonna go ahead and cook this for about 10, 15 minutes or until your al pastor meat is done. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So, hang tight. <laughs> Once you've coated all your al pastor with that oil and it's sizzling well, that's when we're going to go ahead and add our onions. I'm gonna to continue to let our al pastor cook and while we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and start toasting our slider bun. Oh, that smells so good. It smells like al pastor, yes! These are done. Oh, you smell how the brioche yes. was just toasted? Oh. Oh no. Ooh. Okay, it took about 10 minutes. Our al pastor is done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a lid on it so it stays nice and warm while we make our avocado sauce. What I have in here is I have about uh, three tablespoons of water, one avocado. I'm gonna use about two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. I'm at it, guys. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of, of crema. Okay. I like tablespoons better. Tablespoons, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna do salt to taste. If you add any lemon or lime juice or vinegar to this, you're going to change the flavor to it and it's going to be way too tart for you. Let's go ahead and blend. Yes, guys, I've been eating hot Cheetos. <laughs> That's awesome. So we have our avocado cream. You guys ready to assemble? Let's do it. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide my sliders because we have one family member that has an allergy and he loves sliders. So I'm just gonna go ahead and break it like that. I'm not stressing my bread too much. There we go. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and smear some avocado sauce. That onion's okay, it's from the ones I use, same little container. Now we're going to go ahead and put our al pastor. Everything that falls apart, make sure you eat it. <laughs> Everything that falls off to the side is yep. the chef's. <laughs> it's mine. I like that roll. You ready for the fun? Yes.
some onions. Just a little more. You want a little more? Onions? No, I said it doesn't matter. You make the onions with the meat and then yeah. you have a little bit more onions. <laughs> it's, a, it's a different flavors you're getting. Mm -hmm. I like the fresh with the cooked onion. Yeah. Taste the bite. Yeah, especially when it's like a taco flavor you're looking for. Yeah. And now, if you like pineapple, bring it in. You guys like the sweeter flavor of the pineapple? You can uh, put the pineapple in when you're searing your your al pastor. Mm. It almost feels like these are like the Godfather, right? Like the movie al pastor, <laughs> like that kind of vibe. Gangster sliders? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking more on the holier side. They're gonna bully the rest of the sliders. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of the cheese on here. Sprinkle this one on this side. This recipe makes me sing because I'm happy. <laughs> Finish it, finish no, no, it. I'm no, already, no, no, you got no. me dancing. Are you guys dancing as well? Please let us know what you're doing at the moment in the, in the, this, apparently you guys have access to my description area. <laughs> in the comment area. I was uh, laughing at the comments yesterday, how everyone, uh, like not everyone, but a lot of people were like, I'm making this right now. Hey, I just made it. Like, well, the video was still going on. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can't believe it. That was a lot of fun. I actually get really excited when you guys uh, tell me that you guys made the recipe or I seem to catch you guys uh, tagging me on Instagram. I get super excited, especially right now. I'm doing a lot better today. Thank you guys so much for looking out for me. Now it's time to taste one of these sliders. Friends, I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as my family does. If you want to see more recipes like this, please let me know in the comments because you know I like to fusion everything. <laughs> That's my life. Uh, but on that one, thank you so much for joining me today and being part of our club. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios. Girl, I'm going to put some chilito on here. Yes. Reveals views chili oil has multiple purposes. It's if pretty you much know, life. If you know, you know. Oh, yes. Should we tell our friends what you want to do with that oil? Oh, well, it's not for mm -mm. this channel. <laughs> Mmm, girl. Yeah, for the new sports fans, make sure you're making these for your family. On game day? Mm-hmm. Good idea. I can eat like all 12 of them that I can right now. Eat it just like you would a taco. Oh, wow. You want to learn how to make that pastor? Click the link right here. Or down there. Yeah, that chili oil is amazing.